Hey folks, Quill18 here, and RimWorld is back. This is RimWorld Alpha 13, fresh off the presses, and people have been emailing me and tweeting me and asking me about more RimWorld content. Uh, I was going to wait until um, a few more of the mods were updated, but people seem really anxious to dive right in, so that's what we're going to do. Um, as per usual, the first game I'm going to play after a new alpha build comes out is going to be effectively vanilla gameplay. i um, not going to put in any mods that radically changes the game itself, but I like user interface mods and that sort of thing. Luckily, uh, Ed, Ed B. I don't know how to say it. Um, colonist bar here has been updated. Not the full user enhancement package, unfortunately, because apparently a lot of things have changed and uh, he's having to do a pretty big um, redo of his mod, but he was able to split out the colonist bar at least, and that apparently works. So I'm excited about that because it is handy. And so as the, um, as the game... Uh, as the mods get updated for the new version, we'll probably introduce some more in there. But again, we're going to try to minimize anything that changes the gameplay uh, as is. So first thing we gotta do is co create the world. I see no reason to just, you know, not just uh, take the default numbers here. Bigger, smaller world doesn't really matter. It's mostly the uh, embarkation area. And actually, I guess the question is, where are we gonna go and um, and colonize this one? How are we gonna shake things up? We've done a variety of different biomes in the past. Oh, we don't have to create the world. We need to make a new colony over here. Um, I'm probably I'm going to stick with uh, Cassandra Classic. I'm going to go to Extreme Challenge on this one. It may be tough. Enemies are strong, prices are poor, food is scarce, and colonists are grumpy. For those who enjoy digital suffering. Yeah, this this might doom us. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, these are the old saves. I guess this is the new world over here. So let's go ahead and take that. And uh, be nice. Oh, select random site. If we do this, where's it going to stick us? In the tundra. What's our farming period? Growing period, 11th of spring to the 1st of fall. Ooh, they're listing it slightly differently. They have changed. The days, I think, are twice as long now, although there's half as many in a year. So effectively, the play time, time is the same. Um, but I think it's going to lead to less like, your colonists wake up, do two things, then go instantly back to sleep. Now they'll do four things, and then go back to sleep for a longer period. That's okay. So it's going to be chilly here. Uh, where's our actual little bit there? It looks like we're actually on the border of, like, a, um, a desert biome. And really, tundra is kind of like cold desert. They both have very little precipitation is what they have in common. Uh, relatively high elevation here too. Marble, slate, and sandstone. I don't know. This is what it randomed us, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to try to go with relatively decent uh, people to start off with. Um, in particular, it'd be nice to get people who aren't incapable of anything. Now, you know, this is not the worst. Intellectual and firefighting uh, isn't terrible, assuming you have decent traits. I'm not sure this is a decent set of traits. Let's take who else we've got. Min, a pop idol, who can't do anything, including dumb labor. That is completely unacceptable. You have a, um, well, these are just scars. They're not the worst thing, um, but they're not great. And you'll be in pain all the time. You can't clean, although you can haul. Can't do anything scary. You have great medicine, great cooking. Good research. Ooh, you're abrasive, so you're going to be upsetting other people. And you're a cannibal. Jung was taught that eating human meat is wrong and horrible, but one time long ago he tried it and liked it. Well, you know, as the chef, he, he tries a, a large variety of foods. Okay, I like it. We're going to rename you soon. Slowpoke lazy? No, that's bad. Well, okay. Opti Lazy is still really bad, but not having Slowpoke is good. I do like the the Optimist is pretty good, but can't dumb labor, so no, we'll randomize you some more. You can't cook or be intellectual, but that's not too bad. You get a permanent plus 12 mood, another abrasive, another cannibal. Oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. I think we have to go full cannibal. Let's, let's randomize our character here until we get another cannibal. I don't know how likely that is to happen. For all I know, we're going to be here forever. But, I mean, that's got to be too cool, right? Because then we could eat human meat. Until we get an extra person here, which ruins everything, we can just cook all the human meat we have to to feed ourselves. Maybe that's why we were um, abandoned. Oh my god, I can't believe, like, after getting two cannibals that easy, it's taking us forever to roll another one. I mean, if we have the prepare carefully mod, which I think may have been updated for 13, uh, then we could do this a little sooner. And I'm just worried that I'm going to accidentally click past. Oh, there we go. Another, are they all abrasive? Abrasive cannibal. I have a group of jackasses. Uh, two of them are, are incapable of intellectual. 
Uh, but Jung is capable of intellectual. He's also our cook. He's going to be pretty busy. He's going to be our cook plus researcher. But And that's probably what it's going to be. He's going to cook until we have the right number of meals. Then he can go back to research and over and over and over. He doesn't have much shooting or melee. He also can't clean. Uh, we don't have anyone particularly good shooting, which is too bad. Because we are probably going to hunt, have to hunt um, to keep ourselves fed. Yeah, we'll hunt the most dangerous game. Uh, we do have the ability to grow and mine over here. This is not bad. All right, you have an old gunshot wound to the torso. It's only a slight penalty to the torso. So you might be going around um, whining about a little bit of pain. All right, let's do it. A <laughs> colony full of cannibals. What could possibly go wrong here? <sighs> do, do, do. Three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens at ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land in an unknown rim world. As pieces of shredded starship fall around you, you start to make plans to survive. Ooh, music kicked in real loud all of a sudden. Let me go and bring that down. I didn't even have it that high up, but okay. Uh, yeah, so, work screen, yep. Manual priorities, probably like this. Maybe. I mean, honestly, early on, we probably mostly just want to... Oh, look at this. We've got a bunch of muffle over here. Great stuff. There's our food situation sorted. Not much in the way of hills. Um, so we're not going to really be burrowing for our, um, our base. I don't know how many minerals we've got kicking around. Compacted machinery? Oh, that's new. I'm pretty sure that's new. What do we get out of that steel? It's all compacted machinery. Uh, can be mined for useful components. Oh! Oh, we actually just get uh, components as is. So we got a little bit of steel. Lots of this compacted machinery. More steel. What's this? Oh, that's the same thing. Gosh. And more steel. Okay. So we got a good number of basic resources. That's not too bad. Do we have... I mean, we've got geothermals over there. Down there. This Is this the most central sort of geothermal? It kind of feels like it is. Because I like to plan my base to be not too far away from something like that. So that looks to be the case. Unfortunately, it's not near any barriers. We've got a little room over here. We've got a couple of walls put up there that we might be able to build around. Um, this is actually potentially the most defensive area right over here. It would be pretty easy to lock up. And I think that's what we need to do as a priority, especially on a high difficulty setting. What is this? A ship chunk. Can be deconstructed. Deal useful steel. What? This is cool, man. All right, I can dig it. And here we have some random steel chunks. I'm going to go and unforbid that, because we'll probably want it quite early. The survival meals, certainly. The wood. And what is this? Just miscellaneous component bits. Okay. Who is our best shooter? Can I still use... Yeah, excellent. Okay, good. Um, three. So, Drake... Oh, I forgot to rename you guys in the, um, the character setup screen, so let me go and do that now. We've got... I've already randomized my subscriber list. Hadros, SWE over here. We've got Seabreeze. And finally, we have Angel Goat. Goat. All right, excellent. Welcome to the party. Let me do a little save here. We got all our old saves probably still in this. Oh, yeah, it takes forever to load up. Okay. Um, so. Hadros is our best shooter, and I think our second best shooter was um, Angel Goat here, with a three, yeah. So we'll give you the pistol, and you can just grab the knife for now. Let's unforbid that. We don't have to unforbid the silver quite yet, so we'll just hold off on that for now. That way, a little bit less hauling to worry about. And, yeah, what's the... it's the first of summer, so we've missed the, what, 11th day of spring, which is our growing season to start off with, but we can still grow as is. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> the last game I played was mods. We don't need any seeds, so presumably we can grow whatever we want, right? Uh, we do have to worry a little bit about sunshine cycles, but let's say... What do we do? We zone, right? Growing zone? Excellent. Let's say we create a growing zone like this. So this shouldn't be too much in the shadow. It's quite large, but I think it's going to be okay. And yeah, potato plants are going to be perfectly fine. Um... Yeah, hopefully that is going to be a good cycle. Uh, Work-wise, okay. I mean, if there's a fire, do that first. And then become a patient. And then, interesting. Lots of passion, only skill 5, though. So we'll have Seabreeze do it uh, for now. Bed rest. 
from non-immediately life-threatening medical problems. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave that for now. And then, yeah, flick, top priority to flick if it comes up. Uh, we don't need animal handling right now. We don't need a warden right now. Oh, there's not really going to be any cooking. But, really, that's what Seabreeze's job is going to be. Anyway, I'll put it as a 2. Because that's going to be perfectly fine. And then we can override things. Um, if I do want any plants cut, I want everyone to work on it right away. Just everyone go ahead and chop down all the trees. That's going to be fine. We don't need any arts and craft as is. And let's see. I'm a big fan, and I'm going to do this again, of making sure that hauling gets done ASAP by everyone as quickly as possible, and then they can just go back to their normal jobs after that. So here's our growing experts, and we're going to put that at a 2. Uh, mining is going to be a lot like plant cut. When I want it done, actually, I want it done right away. Um, I think I might leave Seabreeze out of it. Because you can still haul, then cook, and research once that gets set up. Uh, and this is our primary constructor over here. And... Hadros is actually going to be our hunter, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Okay, although hunting right now... Well, we're just not going to assign any hunting because we have no ability to cook it yet. So we're going to do something kind of like that. Uh, Hadros, actually, I'm going to make growing top priority for you. So if there's something that needs to be looked after for growing, take care of it, rather than haul or do anything like that. So haul, like mine and plant cut doesn't come up very often. So Hadros is going to be growing and hauling. Uh, Angel is going to be hauling, followed by construction and repair. And Seabreeze is going to be hauling, followed by cooking and research. And I think that's going to be a fine order to start off with, let's hope. So we've got that set up right away, so someone should start cooking. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is also set up a giant stockpile next to this. Um, that won't be indoors right now, though, so I might wait. Do I want to figure out where I want my, my walls and such to be right now? I guess so. And I guess we'll use steel. We do have a good amount of it. Um, but maybe we want to use wood. It does take... We'll have to put in a little bit of time to actually chop down some of these trees, of course. And we've got a little bit of wood already from the crash ship. So it's probably fine. I mean, obviously we'll want to upgrade something that can't burn later on. But for now, actually, the wooden walls are going to be lovely. And I think trying to decide if we want more than one entrance and exit from our base because so I think I'll leave that as a doorway so we'll do something like this and then let's do something like that and like that and I think we have to do that to block off the diagonals and then over here and yeah there's not enough store but that's okay we'll do something like this and then we'll grab uh, we're not going to do auto doors right now because we don't have the power. But then we'll have two doorways there. And that'll be a pretty good start. Just short term, get some defenses ASAP. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim this as mine. We're going to deconstruct a bit of wall from that side. And while we will have a block, a block at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And we can use this as an early bedroom. And then we may mine into the uh, this little area over here uh, to set up some bedrooms early on and get some materials because that could be pretty handy. Or we might just build a few little um, houses in some way. What I think I'm going to do, and we do have longer... Marriage spot, cool. Party spot, interesting. Um, what do I want? I want the sleep spot over here. I'm just going to very quickly set up three sleep spots so that we have a token uh, bed spot set up for them if they're looking for sleep. All right, so right away, everyone's going to get busy, which is good. And yeah, I mean, maybe this is a little bit overwrought, but I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. So what is everyone doing? You are harvesting birch tree. You're sowing an area. You're harvesting a pine tree, which is fine. Again, uh, Hadros has got growing as a top priority, but otherwise, if I do have trees flagged to be chopped down, they'll do that quite quickly, and that's good because we need the materials, and then they should go and start doing a little bit of construction, uh, presumably. Uh, is it possible? I was going to say sea breeze. Well, you're you're just wandering as a as a happiness thing, but and you still have hall. We don't have any hall going on right now. The other thing is, if you don't, if you literally don't have anything to do, you can also construct. That's going to be fine. Do I want to set um? Yeah, I want to adjust their work schedule and stuff. I'll probably just go and set... Oh my god, it sucks to not have the um, the the top row where you can set everyone in bulk. Force a couple hours of sleep there, and then they'll they'll continue to sleep until it is time. Um, I wonder if I should start a little earlier. Not 10 p.m. is fine. 
and no assigned joy time specifically. I could force more work time, but I think this is going to be okay. All right, so we'll get our defenses up and running ASAP because I'm scared. You've got that down. I'm going to quickly, actually, I will set up a stockpile after all. In here, that is simply for food. Just so that our packages aren't out in the middle of the wilderness being eaten by whatever critter happens to walk by. And get a little wooden door over there, please, and thank you. So we got little talking bubbles. I don't remember them being there. Doesn't mean that it wasn't, but it, I didn't recall any. Now, they're probably getting cranky with each other. Not yet. Eight without table. Yep, that's true. A little new colony optimism. That's good. So yeah, we're just trying to wall things off quickly. This actually won't be a little bad area over here because we can claim this room up too later on. But this is a good start. More survival meals being eaten. We have our little puppy here. Helen, what do we have? A Labrador, which can definitely learn things quite quickly. Obviously, we are going to want to train you for hauling. Do I want to set... Do we have a good animal handler? Five's not bad and mediocre passion for it. I wonder how important it might be to invest in the animal training quite early. I mean, right now we need our manpower as, as aggressively as possible. But the sooner we have the dog trained to haul, the better off we will be because we'll have an extra hauler. Uh, these more steel chunks? Yeah, okay, so we can unforbid those. Still not going to unforbid the silver quite yet. Anything else just sort of lingering around the map? We've got a bunch more steel. Wow, we really have a lot of steel right away before we have to do any freaking mining. That's actually really nice. Oh, more survival meals. So we'll do that. I mean, we don't have anywhere for the steel to be hauled yet. And I'm still okay with that. If we need it, it'll get used from one of our many, many, many chunks. Here's the muffalo. I'm not going to flag them to be hunted yet. I want to get our walls up first. I'm really worried about this difficulty setting um, being too problematic. Ancient danger. Ooh, where's the ancient danger? Right over here. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I... Okay, yeah, and without the mods, we don't have separate cleaning zones, which is a little unfortunate. But I'm going to flag this area as a home zone. Because if there's fire over here, I want someone to go and put out the fire so it doesn't burn up the walls. Um, I also want the walls to be repaired. It does mean occasionally someone might go over there and clean, which is kind of dumb and sucky, but is hardly the worst. All right, this um, slate blocks. If I want this door to close, I'll have to like stockpile blocks somewhere, which is okay, although right now it's really not the end of the world that the door is open because the temperatures are fine and normal, so no one's going to be freezing or anything like that. Okay, we still have plenty of wood kicking around. We're going to get most of the wall finished as is. A little bit of cleaning being done. Um, I'm wondering if I should... Yeah, let, you know, I'm going to get a stockpile going after all, and this is going to be mostly for raw materials. Um, raw resources and manufactured stuff. Stuff that won't decay. So our blocks and things can get brought over there. I think that will all count under raw resources. Actually, I guess all, this means all the steel will be brought over, which might not be the best use of our time right now, but isn't too bad. And it'll give the haulers something to do, because I'm trying to remember one of my construction. Ah, they'll haul first. Yeah, that's still probably okay, because it gets everything hauled in the right location. Um, we could, and maybe should, do a round of harvesting whatever berries around. There's not a whole lot. But a little bit of extra food would not be a terrible thing. So speaking of food, we still have 26 survival meals stored right now. So we don't have to rush on the food production, which is nice. Although we got the potatoes going on. And I'm really happy about getting potatoes happening. Uh, and then hopefully soon we can get um, some research going on and some actual cooking. But for now, this is going to do fine. I guess everyone's just having a little bit of social time here. Which, I mean, I could enforce a little bit more work right now, but... Yeah, you were stressed, and you're, you're working off some of your stress, and I think that's probably okay. Comfort's going down, which is too bad. And you are harvesting some little bushes. That was a lot of walking for probably not a heck of a lot of food, but it'll still get us started. Mm -hmm. 
And berries can usually be eaten raw without upsetting anyone, which is nice. The potatoes eating them raw is not particularly good, but hopefully we can get our cooking up and running before then. We do have enough skill for it, so hopefully that'll be alright. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to build more above ground structures. Obviously you need material for that, but building wooden walls is really fast, especially compared to mining. But, it is kind of convenient to have the spaces already done up for you. So what if we... Actually, that is so thin. I could just clear a giant area over here. Is that what I want? As opposed to individual little rooms? I mean, obviously this would not be good for bedrooms, but it becomes a great storage area plus um, a workshop area. I think I'm going to be okay with doing that. Struct compacted machinery, yeah. But have you left anything behind? Oh, I don't remember these little progress bars for the mining. Was it always there? Didn't there used to be some sort of maybe a percentage sign? Or maybe it was like this when I would look at it. I don't know. Maybe it's always been there. Components. Miscellaneous gears, capacitors, circuit boards, etc. Yeah, alright. We got some berries stored in there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and give Hadros a level 2 priority job for animal handling. You'll still mine first and haul if it comes up, but then other than that, you'll do a fair bit of that and maybe we can train up our puppy. That would be handy. Obviously, we'll have to haul away some of these stones later, but that's okay. Are we... I guess we don't have any more wood. No, we've got a little bit there. I guess, yeah, the hauling is happening before the, um, the construction. And actually, hauling the wood over to here is fine. It'll save walking. Like, the biggest part of our construction job for these wooden walls is actually hauling the wooden places. So that's not necessarily too bad. I suspect we still won't have quite enough. So I'll go ahead and give an extra little chop jobs over here, and that's going to be fine. We do have some guns. And I mean, the first attack is always a, just going to be like one dude, right? One naked dude. I think that's true no matter what difficulty you're on. I hope that's true here. So we should be able to handle that. Yeah, we've got another, um, another steam geyser over here. So we're close to a couple of steam geysers. Need defenses. Yep. I know, is it? And at some point, we're going to want to set up an early kill zone as well. And the best way to do that is actually to only have one doorway, of course. There's a couple of things we could do. We actually ended up with a pretty cool kill zone last time. That didn't see a lot of use, but should work out pretty well. I mean, we are going to want to chop these two at some point, but I don't want to have to go and build the walls up yet. So we're just going to keep mining this out. And yeah, this is a slow job, but we do want the stuff. So, Hadros, why are you upset? Feeling terrible, ugly environment, slept in the ground, shared bedroom. Yeah, okay, all those things are very true. Cannot deny that. Alright, I'm actually going to hold off on the rest of the mining. We will clear this out later, but now we've got a little bit more space for some things. Um, I'm going to make maybe a generic stockpile over here. Uh, what do we want? You. Like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this one, which is just our raw materials um, that are just outside. I'm going to make it important, and I'm going to put our food over here to important. But then we do have another stockpile for just other things going on, and that's going to be good enough. And I'm just going to try to let them finish up their walls. And then we will work up on, I don't know, getting some sandbags, getting a proper kill zone initiated. Or maybe, maybe, and this might be more important, actually getting some beds. Can I make beds already? Yeah, I can, actually. And I forget, you don't actually need to set up any sort of industry. So, I mean, they still need individual bedrooms. But at least if we do this, they won't have to sleep on the ground anymore. We have our first visitor. Hello, Gramps. How you looking there? Damn. You're not bad. I mean, we obviously we will upset someone. Do we want some uh, some long pork going on over here? I think it's too early to start capturing people. Actually, here's a question. Are you armed? Yeah, you you have a... Oh my god! A pistol, a charge rifle, and a rocket launcher? I don't think we want to take you. And we're not really set up to... Um, we don't have a room for a prisoner yet. And I don't want to just attack you because you're going to rocket launcher the shit out of my people. That's not the way for us to get some human meat. With our lovely cannibal colony. Cannibal colony! There's a great name! That's what we're going to name ourselves once we get the, the opportunity to come up here. So what are you doing? Oh, you're, you're hauling more steel. Which may not actually be the most important job right now. And maybe, you know, we've overflagged how much steel to go and collect. I mean, obviously we'll want it at some point. But is that what we need to survive right now? I don't know. Get some meals, you're going to go and haul more steel, yep. And maybe you only need one full-time hauler. 
especially since I'm not sure that they're being super efficient with their steel hauling over here, but we'll see how it goes. And then you're going to go to sleep. Yeah, you didn't even have a sleep spot this time. Sorry about that. Who's our prime constructor person? Uh, Angel Goat, who's still hauling steel, and probably is going to want to go to sleep after that. Um... You don't need rest that critically. I wonder if we can sneak in a, uh, a bed. There we are. So at least you get a bed. Build yourself a bed, and then you can move on. That's going to be fine. Need a meal source? Well, right now, we still don't have any fully grown potatoes. So I don't have to rush the cooking table or the nutrient dispenser. Don't really care for the nutrient dispenser too much most of the time. I prefer to give these people proper meals instead. Excellent! Cannibal colony. That's how you spell cannibal, right? I hope so. Done! Named! Hadros, Seabreeze, and Angel Goat. I hope you eat many, 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 many people. Um, that may delay us making friends if we start to eat people more. Well, the thing is, you end up killing people all the time. All the time you kill people, so you end up with a lot of potential human meat. And um, I'm assuming cannibals won't get bothered about butchering it. And I can't remember if, like... If there's, assuming, like, at some point we'll get non-cannibals, right? But if the person doing the butchering is the cannibal, is that the only person that would get the I butchered a human moodlet? And then the regular people won't eat the human meat, but the cannibals can. So, I don't know. We'll have to see exactly how those mechanics work. Really interesting to see how it goes. Excited to be exploring um, Alpha 13. We haven't really looked into a lot of this stuff yet, you know? Like, um, some of the relationships that can be found uh, um, created. But we've got, you know, a little bit of bonds going on over here. Um, cool. Interesting. Very interesting, despite the fact that they're abrasive. Um, apparently, they still like puppies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.